We're about ready to launch on another water adventure. You ready to come along with us? Let's go. And away we go. Oh, life jacket first. Now we're good. Let's get going. Well, too darn cool. What do you think, JJ? Very cool. That's awesome, eh? Well, glad we didn't have to go all the way up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's a way. Well, there's a will, there's a way, but there's no will here. <laughs> Just Jay, uh, Dave, and Julie. <laughs> no will. That's ah, really cool geology here. Should be an earth cache. There, I, there isn't one. It's kind of odd. There you go. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Just have to figure it out. Now we got to climb down. So now going. I came up on the left, and now I'm going to go down on the right here. Just kind of pick our way through the softer stuff. If you go straight through the middle, you end up going through a lot of rocks. Here. It's a lot softer ground, so if you fall, it might not hurt yourself so much. Well, that's the hope, anyway. See you down at the bottom. So, made it down in one piece, and we get back in the boats, and I think from now, it's smooth sailing until the last cache which we drive around and pick up from the road, and that's at a waterfall. I've heard it's pretty cool. Let's get back in the boat. Literally well, buddy, rocks. how was, was it? Yeah, that was crazy. Pretty cool. That's fun. That was nice, fun. nice yeah. we didn't have to go all the way to the top, eh? Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> I, I was thinking about it. I was like, oh, I don't know if I, if I can do it. <laughs> Shall we uh, take it easy and just do the canoe for now? Yeah, I think so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she does not look happy. <laughs> So we see Jay, uh, JJ Cash has got that one. So we're gonna sail on past, he'll sign us in, and uh, we'll try to get to the next one. With the clearing for the power lines, you can see it's almost like a limestone canyon that we're uh, uh, paddling through because there's limestone cliffs on either side, uh, paralleling where we're going. Well, we got one. There we go. Uh, it's a team effort. We're just kind of skipping along and getting them. And this one is uh, a praying mantis on a bison tube. I know, it's like, he's like, oh, I think that's the cache. And I'm like, oh, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, the cache is right there. Uh, oh my God. So I thought that was the cache. But it's a real snake, and the cache is just up there. Oh, well, can you see the cache? Yeah, I can see the cache. Whoa! <laughs> okay, I'm not, I'm not 
are swimming in this water. Whoa. <laughs> okay, Okay, there's the cache right up there on my left hand. And you just gotta be careful where you're reaching because we thought that snake was the cache. And uh, it wasn't the cache, it was a real snake. And he's still, he's still up there resting up by the trunk, a uh, black water snake. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you gotta be careful where you reach. Still, you all right there, buddy? <laughs> okay, let's go. getting a little bit uh, hard to paddle up river because we got a, a strong wind now blowing upstream and there's a weather system coming in it looks pretty nasty uh, as long as we're off the water by 2 before it hits about 2, 2, 2 30, 3 o'clock we'll be good so we're gonna do this one section of the Indian River and that's it okay those guys have already got this last cache and there's always one last cache and uh, they've gone back to camp to tarp down because the storm is getting really close. We got about 20 to 30 minutes before it hits. So we're gonna try to get this one lash cache and that's by a waterfall. So we wanna get it, that's supposed to be pretty cool. So we just gotta do about 80 meters, 120 meters from the road, bushwhack, to get to it. And now it's opening up a little bit, so we'll see. Oh look, a path. So Lyric Glass stayed behind because apparently I went through a, a big clump of poison ivy. So we'll find that out in a few days, whether I got that all over my feet. But as I'm bushwhacking through, I find a path. <laughs> and it's kind of going in the right direction, I think. I better check. Good thing I checked because uh, I was going away from it. And the numbers were now counting down, so we got 38 meters, but that's off to my right. So I'm going to have to leave the path and do some more bushwhacking. I don't know if you can hear that thunder rolling there. She's getting close, and I'm getting close to the cache. Although I was told it was on the edge of a waterfall. And I'm not hearing any water. I'm almost on top of the cache. Four meters. It's a really cool area. It's right on the edge. So the river goes down there, and right here, boom, got it. There we go, got it. It's hot, got the log signed, we're out of here. All right, let's get back to the van before it starts to pour. I'm gonna get out of here before that happens. Well, got that last one, the storm hasn't quite hit yet. You can hear it in the background though. <laughs> it's a coming. So we're gonna let you go here and maybe show you a bit of the downpour as it comes, but wow, thanks for coming with us. What an adventure. Yeah, we've had an awesome day. Yeah, thanks to the Sparks crew for joining us. And uh, oh, before we go, here's another patron shout out. We have a new patron we wanna thank. Yep, Double Helix has joined us on Cash Canada through Patreon and we really welcome her support. All right, thanks. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Yeah, where will geocaching take you? Awesome, let's get out of the rain. Whoa, okay, where do we go?